I'm Thomas Robertson and my wife is Anita Robertson. The name of our farm is Botanical Bites and Provisions. We started this farm uh, before we left the military and it became a growing industry for us. We had invested time and energy in attending um, new and beginning farmer courses. So we knew what we were up against. Uh, we had made connections with other farmers. And we used the drones in, in our facility now. The drone came into picture probably about five years ago when they first became um, reasonably priced, you know, for the general public. We are um, very conservative, at least I am, in my spending. Him, not so much. <laughs> Boys like to have their toys. And, um, you know, once he convinced me that this was something that had a useful value, you know, I kind of got on board. The drones can show us that there may be a problem in one specific area. So now we don't have to go out and do the whole perusing of the fields. We can go out and address that one area. He'll use the drone to find out that our crops are dying in a certain area. That usually means that the water line has been either chewed on by, you know, a groundhog or some other rodent and you know he'll go out there and, and can quickly replace it before the you know whole row of crops dies. I grew up on a farm and it was uh, 20 about a 30 acre farm in Amherst County Virginia and after I turned 17 I decided I am never ever ever gonna farm again and I joined the military thinking that this would be the last time that I would ever see a farm. I happen to be a fourth generation farmer. I can trace back to the 1800s. My uh, great grandfather, who lived in the Lake Anna region, was a farmer. And this portion is the portion that we're going to plant in. This portion back here we'll save for next year. Starting a farm after retirement had produced a lot of challenges for us. But we're big planners, um, and I think that comes from our military experience that you make sure you have a plan in place before you execute. There are a lot of worms in the soil, which is a really good sign that the soil is healthy. When I was farming as a, as a young man at 15, 16, 17 years old, things were really different. And we farmed uh, uh, using very, very old techniques and we didn't have a tractor, we had a horse. But now we have tractors, we have farm implements. Right now we use everything from uh, solar energy, we used advanced irrigation techniques. And as you can see, it's not spraying the water, it's just dripping it, just one drop at a time. And by not spraying it, that means that we're not creating dust and dirt flying up and getting into the plants, which can usually cause problems after you eat it. Yeah, they're coming out through the bottom. And we also raise honeybees. And then I added to the honeybees value-added products. So I used the beeswax and honey to develop lip balms, lotions, salves, and soaps. And it has our little farm logo. I think that the uh, drones and other technology, they take nothing away from the human side of farming. I think it adds to it because it frees up your time, your labor to do more and better things on your farm. My great grandfather would be proud of our use of the embracing the new technologies. Um, because they couldn't afford that type of technology back then, um, even if it was present. I also think that he would be proud of us for um, just continuing the tradition of farming. <laughs>